Okay, today we are going to be talking about PE ratio. And the PE ratio is a metric used to measure a stock's valuation. The PE ratio stands for price to earning. So it's pretty much telling you what the stock is trading at compared to its earnings. Now there's two different types of PE ratios. There is the one that considers the company's earnings in the past, in the past quarter, and then the company's future projections. So in other words, there's the P, the trailing PE ratio, and then there's the forward PE ratio. Now, the one I like to use more is the forward PE ratio because that's taking into consideration the future of the company rather than the previous company, you know, the previous earnings. So if we go on to Yahoo Finance, I'm gonna give you a couple examples. The first one's gonna be Tesla because Tesla is an example of how PE ratios can be misleading. So typically in the stock market, the P, stocks are gonna trade at a PE at about maybe 18 or 19, okay? But Tesla trades at a PE ratio of over 1600. Now, this is what this tells you is that the price is high compared to its earnings. However, that's because investors think that the stock's gonna go up a lot, okay? That's what that's telling you. So. But it also could be telling you that the company is overvalued because this is based off of what the company, the four, the, the PE they show there is the trailing PE, okay? PE 1600. So that means if we go to statistics, we can see that the trailing PE is 1.5 thousand, okay? But the four PE is 200. And so still that seems super high, but you have to consider this company has enormous growth ahead of it, okay? And then that four PE is based off of the earnings that analysts expect to expect the company to do. So if we look at Tesla's revenue estimates for 2021, they're expected to grow sales 54%, okay? For 2022, they're expected to do sales, increase sales by 28%. So that's Tesla, okay? Now, if we look at a company like Apple, Apple's going to trade at a little bit more of a more reasonable valuation because this stock is, you know, it's not as risky. It doesn't have the same growth potential that a company like Tesla does. And so it's going to trade at a P, a trailing PE of 36. Okay. And a Ford PE of 31. So this is, this is not too bad considering Apple's a super strong company and they're still going to con continue to grow. Okay. Now, if we look at a company like Coke that has estimates of, they don't even have any estimates for revenue growth, but Coke is not gonna trade at a too high of a PE ratio. So it trades at a 26 right now, okay? That's still kind of high for Coke, honestly, because the company, Coke is not gonna grow that much. So 26 is kind of high. Now, if we look at a company like Shopify, the PE ratio is 753. And one thing I want you to take away from this is if we look back at, let's see, so Shopify is expected to grow revenues this year, 81%, okay? So that's why it's trading at such a high valuation. But this is the important part. Even though some of these PE ratios are super high, like this is trading at around a 700, you have to consider what the company traded at in the past. So check this out. Back, now the reason that there's not PE ratios for you know the past couple quarters is because Shopify just started becoming profitable a couple months ago. But they, all, they always did have a, a, a high forward PE too. So you can see right now the forward PE is 294, which seems super high. However, if you go back to a year ago, you could see it was trading at over 2000, then it was trading at a 10,000 forward PE. And so all that, that if you looked at that back then, you might say that's insanely high, that's insanely overvalued. And so you wouldn't wanna buy that. However, what that's telling you right there is that investors believe a lot in this company and there's lots of growth ahead. And if you would have bought in then, it still would have been a good idea because look at over the past two years, this company has went from $200 a share to $1,200 a share. And even, let's see, it was it was $400 a share 
less than a year ago. Okay, so even though companies have high PE, high PE ratios, it doesn't mean they're overvalued necessarily. Okay, and so it's more important to compare the PE ratio to instead of doing it as like a general market thing, compare the, a company's PE ratio to where it traded at in the past, like how I just showed you with Shopify, or if not that, then I would compare it to other companies that are similar to it. So if you were gonna do, if you were gonna compare Apple to something, you might compare Apple to Google, okay? So let's check out Google. Google trades at a PE of 37. So kind of similar to Apple because you know they're both giant tech companies and they both have a decent amount of growth ahead of them. It's not going to be any insane growth where they're doing 100% revenue growth, but you know, they should for years to come they should put up steady double digit numbers. And then if we look at Google, Google's 4 PE, it's a 33. And let's see, so you might say, okay, look at in past quarters it actually traded lower, 26, 21. So Right now is probably not the cheapest time to buy Google. But overall, the things to take away here are, you have two types of PE ratios, trailing PE, forward PE. Forward PE is probably the more important one. And then the other thing would be to, instead of measuring the PE ratio just in general, measure it compared to where the company traded at in the past, as well as compare it to how other similar companies trade at. And that is it.